Good Morning Britain presenter Richard Madeley joined Rylan Clark on the latest episode of Strictly, it takes two to discuss how the contestants performed on Saturday night. Before kicking off with what they thought, Rylan teased Richard about when he could expect to see his wife Judy Finnegan take to the dance floor. Kicking off, Rylan asked, the question that needs to be asked is, when am I getting Judy Finnegan on the dance floor? When hell freezes over, Richard clapped back. Joining in with the joke, Rylan added, we're not far off Richard. Explaining why they would never take the offer, Richard said, listen, neither of us, we would just be so embarrassed to do it, we just couldn't I promise you. Turning to the rest of the studio, Ryland teased, even so we would love it wouldn't we? This is what Webb wanted. Richard asked, you don't care about our pain? Ryland brutally admitted, I care about you dearly but I care about that more, I want to see it, Richard. Adding further explanation, Richard, I wouldn't sleep at night, especially if I had to do the jive, imagine me doing the jive. Ryland joked, I haven't it excites me Richard I'm not going to lie. Whilst discussing what they thought of the performances including the judges' scores, Richard had a lot to say about Shirley's scores for Ellie Taylor and Johannes Radebe. The pair performed the cha-cha on Saturday night and received a score of 21 out of 40 which put them near the bottom of the leaderboard. Defending their dance, Richard revealed, well, I've been saying from the outset that Ali for me is the dark horse of this competition. GB News host Nana Akua demands apology from Gary Lineker I think she's one of those dancers who could actually really suddenly come through. If you can stay in for the first three or four weeks, some people in the past, they suddenly get it. And I think she's showing all the signs of being on the brink of getting it. Taking aim at the scores, Richard continued, I don't think she danced that badly at all last week, I think she deserved a much better score. I think she's good, for me, she is the dark horse of the competition. I think we might find that tomorrow we think, wow, she can do it. Unfortunately for TV presenter Richie Anderson, his Strictly journey came to an end last week after all the judges except Shirley Ballas sent him home. Touching on his journey, he said, I feel so lucky that I've got to dance with you every day. Not only are you a fantastic dancer but you are also a fantastic guy on top of that. Strictly Come Dancing continues tonight at 6.30pm on BBC One, followed by the results show on Sunday.